Coco Matilda. Yes, is that you need? Hi Coco. Coco Matilda. So have you ever had um, one of your kids that was really sick, had to stay at the hospital, or go to the doctor, you can't figure out what's wrong with them? Um, at least in my opinion, that's like one of the worst things ever. And so today I'm gonna show you a day in my life of a quadriplegic NICU mom. So come on, let's go before we're too late because we have to get there right on time. So our baby has been in the NICU for a little while now, like two weeks, two and a half weeks. Yeah, two and a half weeks or so. Two and a half weeks. And whoa. I'm not the very best camera person. She was born crying. She's healthy. She is just small. She's just born early. And so that's been her only, her only challenge, her only struggle. We're super lucky. She doesn't have any lung damage. She doesn't have any body damage. She doesn't have any damage. Like there's nothing, there's nothing amiss with her sweet little body. It's just little. And she has to learn how to eat before she can come home. And that's been a little bit of a struggle because she's so small and doesn't have muscles, you know, that are, have been built up yet. And um, so anyway, yeah, sometimes she forgets to breathe and that's her job. And then her heart rate goes down. So those are some little struggles that we're dealing with, but you know, it's only going to improve. It's only going to get better. She's only going to get stronger as the days go by. And so my husband and I have been up to see her every single day. We've brought our kids a few times. Our kids actually can't go in to see her. They've never seen their little sister. Um, and actually no one can go in. Just, just very few, very specific people that have been like named and listed and vetted. <laughs> it was us two first for like the first two weeks and then they just yeah, said they could add two more people, but like just two and they have to be, they can't change. Yeah. They have to be adults. So, so yeah, we've, like you said, we've gone every single day up in the rain, rain. sun, snow. Yeah. It snowed the most, it snowed all year this spring. <laughs> Utah means the top of the mountains. We have famous snow, but we didn't get any this year until this month when we were trying <laughs> to go to the hospital. We're like, oh my gosh. We go up during the school day to visit and it's so you can do skin to skin is a lot of it. And the they body. say that's really good for the baby's development. Her little brain's not all the way developed yet. And so they say the skin to skin is really good for her and her brain and also to learn how to eat. She doesn't know how to eat. Yeah, and so you've been, you've actually, we've been pumping in the car up there to, to not waste our time. And we, we it takes plug us it an in. hour to get there. It takes a while to get there, 45 minutes or so to get there. and we plug it in the pump to the car like, like this we've been pumping but actually she's getting a little bit bigger and so we're not gonna pump this time on the way up yep sorry I don't know why it's going whoops that's ah, just to show you that I'm not pumping You're, you have to put in all of my video footage I'm I have hey, different talents I have other talents what are you doing I'm not doing anything yes you are. <laughs> Face yet? Yes, now I'm on my face, but it's like a really bad version of my face. Well, Call this our stick man, stick man parking. We, we got a warning for not having it hanging here. It was just on our dashboard. We got a warning, so <laughs> make sure we hang it up and let's get in there. Let's go, should we? So these are the regular elevators, but the hospital has a bunch of construction, so we gotta go this way down this big hill to get to the elevators and go in the front door. You got this on your own? This looks safe. Does this look fun? Look at that hill. Let's see it. Uh, I'll have to run catch you. <laughs> so you got yourself. <laughs> zigzag pattern. We forgot our masks again. 
<laughs> It'll give us new ones. These are not optional at the hospital. So you can bring your bottle of McDonald's. This is a super nice thing that they do for the parents at the NICU. And they have couches and a TV and tables and little small private rooms that you can go be in and really nice bathrooms and lots and lots of treats and snacks so it's just so nice that they do this for the NICU parents we are just it, you know this is a really special room but and it really doesn't take a lot to make you feel really 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 special <laughs> Meg make sure you push that button I mean you're gonna do it aren't you don't push that one. <laughs> do not push that square, whatever you do. Stay on for 20 seconds. I don't know. <laughs> Seven, thirty-six, seven, which is good. Whoa, look at this, she kept it. Oh. Oopsie, throw that away. <laughs> so we'll just quick do a little diaper change. Hey That's YouTube, you guys get my perspective of this non-accessible crib, but it is a nice crib. So Wit always does her care, so like her temperature and her diaper and Almost gets her dress. Right, after, right when I take the diaper off, she can start pooping forever. That's her big hello to you. That's her thing right now, guys. Got a few wires. Oops. I'll just stick that back on. <laughs> All I can see is her feet. See, this is legit what my perspective is when she's in this crib. <laughs> Yes, is that your name? And she's hungry. You can see she's hungry. Yeah, she was born at 32 weeks and two days, I think. 30, yeah. Four yeah. pounds, 10 ounces. And now she's about four pounds, 10 ounces again. And she's getting back up to her birthday. And she's the cutest baby in the world. Coco. Coco. Can you open your eyes? Hi, Coco. Coco Matilda. Hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. So she is just 34.5 weeks, and I guess that means 34 weeks and five days, not like 34 weeks and three and a half days. So it's confusing because they, they keep, I mean, every day matters. Every day matters because every day you get to grow. And so we're going to try to breastfeed again and see how she does. And, I mean, just practice doing that. And, and someday you'll get it. Someday you'll get it. And it will be a great day. Huh? I'm so proud of you for trying. I can see her little dimple. Let's see and your it dimples. appears to be big. How many do you have? This one and big a half. One? You have half over here? I have lots of lines on that side now. But in my younger years. <laughs> You had half a dimple. Does hers look dimples. like a full dimple? Maybe. It it might like when she gets chubbier cheeks. Right now it looks like an indentation, like a real indentation. So yeah. 
I mean, it might be, but maybe not. I thought that on my other two also, but. So you guys are gonna work on eating for a little while, right? And then we'll be doing some skin to skin. So she gave it a good try. She is too tired to wake up this time. They, they try to do it, you know, at nine and noon and three and six and nine and 12 and three and six, um, where they feed them and change their diaper and wake them up a little bit. And then she was awake really well at nine. And now at noon, like she can't, she's just gonna sleep through sleep through her feeding. She has a little feeding tube right here. Like this little purple one is the feeding tube. And so she's gonna get good yummy milk, but she's a little too tired to eat it by herself this time. She just, she's just gonna drip into her little tummy with the feeding tube. And that's okay. That's okay. She did a really good, she was sleep eating for a little bit. All of us have had those dreams of feasting, so. <laughs> That's I think she, she ate a little bit. That's what it yeah, looked like. Mostly dripped all down her face. So she tried really hard. So tomorrow, we'll try again tomorrow. And the next day, and the next day, until she gets it. So now we're gonna do some skin to skin while the food drips in and get some quality time together. She's in her happy place now. Go, go, gadget lips. Go, go, gadget lips. It's so hard to leave, but I know that this is where she needs to be right now so that she can get food and get strong and get big. And she's in a really great place, and it's hard, but. I think all of us, once we get through hard things, we turn around and realize that it was those hard things that were so helpful so that we could grow. Um, and this is maybe one of the hardest things that we've done. She's growing and we're growing. Everybody's growing. So. We've got to leave now, but we got this speaker we're going to hit play on. All the nurses say and the doctors they like, that really works to calm her down. <laughs> yeah, we play mom's talks and she calms down, so it's the hardest part of your day, right? Leaving. Definitely the hardest part of my day. Um, but like, I think all of us, when we go through those really hard times, we, when we are done, and on the other side of awful, we all turn around and we're like, that was a growing, strengthening time for me. And it was hard, but it was okay. So when life gets too hard to stand, just keep on rolling. And someday it won't be too hard to stand. <laughs>